So I don't have a set and I'm kind of rusty at the moment because I've been finishing writing and doing some recording and stuff, so I haven't been doing many gigs. So if you have requests or anything, you know, just Deep tell sea me. fishes! Okay. <laughs> right. I'll do that. Any others? Gloria. Oh, nice. Oh, that's a nice one. Everything, ain't nobody. Okay, that's it. That's the set. Okay. That's enough. So the next song is about my first ever girlfriend. It's called They Never Found the Body. No, that's not true. But this song is about this song is about my first ever girlfriend um, who is still alive, as far as I know. Um, she, wait. So when I was a kid, teenage society was very kind of divided into um, like just people who are kind of general. They, w they went into they went to the the clubs in town and um, drank cheap cider and no we all did that how did we, how were we divided it was like different cultural divides they listened to shit music um, and just did whatever the mainstream thing was I don't know what the mod modern equivalent was and then there was the weird kids like me so you know she so my girlfriend was all kind of you know eyebrows you know. And uh, it's still, I know it's still about eyebrows. Um, and I was, I was all weird and listened to uh, strange music like Nirvana and, you know, and wore black and was very depressed a lot. And yeah, so it was a forbidden love crossing this teenage cultural divide, frowned upon. It was very much not approved of by my family, even. Uh, friends didn't approve of me and this girl. So it was very much like the story of Romeo and Juliet, except that actually her dad was more, more violent than Juliet's father. So I went from a dead girlfriend joke to a Shakespeare joke, which is a pretty radical, I left a lot of you behind. <laughs> It's a country waltz.